Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, author of Bible Journaling Made Simple, and I want to share a few opportunities where you can learn online from me, because I know I have a lot of different websites and things, and I want to share with you the places you can find more about Bible journaling. And first, of course, that you've already found is YouTube. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel that you're watching right now. And when you subscribe, there's a little button right beside the subscribe button, and you can click that and it will send the emails to you automatically when a video goes live. That's every Sunday morning, you're going to get a new video. So I love to share things that are simple enough that most people can do. And I give you sketches for a number of them. And then some of them I try to keep them easy enough. You don't even need a sketch because I want to keep this simple. Secondarily is my teaching site. And there are three Bible journaling classes I want to make you aware of. One is Bible Journaling 101. And in that class, I go through 10 lessons and talk about different mediums and give you some examples of how you can use them, how you can apply them. And I recommend that you watch all the lessons before you go shopping and only decide on one or two. Don't buy everything because you don't need all the stuff. I'll test it out for you, but I recommend that you test out whatever brands you get as well, because I don't want you to get something and then realize it was a different brand that I had and that it doesn't work. I will go a little bit into my process for how I create and what my whole devotional process is for Bible journaling. The second class is called Seeing the Scriptures, Visually Interpreting God's Word. And in this class, I do a deep dive into the actual process of studying the scriptures, looking for what God is saying and what he's telling me, which is going to be different than what he's telling you. And we're going to learn how to kind of walk through the scripture, pull out the, the head work, the heart work, and the artwork, and develop some different and interesting perspectives on visual imagery. And in each lesson, in each of the 10, I'll show you three different ways that I interpreted the scripture that you've been studying. So you'll get to see different ways that I was thinking about it as I was coming up with an image. The third class is typography for Bible journalers. This is not a calligraphy class. This is typography, which is really using different fonts, learning how to set them up so they look beautiful together. We're going to be using your handwriting. I don't want to make you into a calligrapher just like everybody else is trying to be. It seems like the whole world wants to have the same handwriting, but God gave you handwriting and I want you to celebrate that and learn how to lay it out in interesting combinations and in interesting and different ways that is going to enhance your Bible journaling. You don't have to be an experienced Bible journaler to do this. Brand new folks can take any one of my classes and I keep them really inexpensive. So you're welcome to check those out over at art-classes.com. And there's going to be links to all of them in the description down below. I hope to add more classes over time. So be sure to join the Facebook group and tell me what else you'd like to learn because I do want to be adding in the coming years more Bible journaling classes. All right. Thank you so much for visiting with me and I will see you next week with a brand new Bible journaling video.